Everything is coming up. Rose's four hour lead. Three birdies in a row. Three shot lead. 15 under par. We're winning this thing. We'll see if it's enough. It should be a four shot lead heading to the next round. And it is. It's a 63. A seven under 63. No one else done better than a 65. So there you have it. But this is what I mean, guys. See, seven under was the lead. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour career mode. Apologies for the couple days delay on this one. But I obviously had the release of F1 and the release of the new course in this game, LA Country Club, which I have a video going up on that. I streamed yesterday on Kick, kick.com slash sound, by the way. We just passed enough uh, followers and stream time for monetization. So next time I'm live, I'll have subs enabled and stuff like that. Uh, I just passed 100 followers. So thank you guys for that. Appreciate all the support over there. We had a crazy stream yesterday uh, at LA Country Club. I hold out from like 175 yards. You'll see that in a video uh, either from earlier today or later today i'm not sure depending on which time this video goes up but anyway let's jump in we're going into the last round of the fedex st jude championship we are leading the way uh we're playing with tony fee now here in the final round what i did mean to do though is bump the ai difficulty up to oh i already did i bumped it up to 88 already okay so let's jump in fedex st jude championship round four we're 12 under par and we're leading the way baby so sorry we're 16 under par what am i talking about 12 under par is second so yeah we should be able to get the job done here at tpc southwind we had a really good finish to round three and we're looking to be even better here in round four now i think a few things have been fixed in career mode i think playoffs have been fixed i know a lot of people had issues with playoffs i had one issue with the playoff before where it crashed or whatever um also they fixed the ai short putting so the ai don't miss short putts like they did before anymore they don't be stupid with those short putts so i'm i'm excited to see that in action and i want to play alongside scotty scheffler as well because apparently he had a new face model i played them yesterday in the round but i didn't get any close-ups of his face we're leading the way we're teeing off first i'm playing with tony fee now the big dog i'm gonna actually just play 302 to reach that bunker way up there so i'm just gonna hit three wood a little three wood bang not bad by the way if you want 20 percent off rogue energy that was terrible what the hell i didn't know that was going for that bunker i was aiming a little it went a little bit further right i hit it slow to be fair uh you can get 20 percent off using my code apex sound anyway uh links in the description for all that stuff including to follow me on kick i know uh, a lot of people are kind of migrating over to that platform for the first time just to watch me and i do appreciate that uh thank you guys so much for coming along and coming over there because the creator splits are just insane honestly over there supports creators a lot more than twitch does that's why i've decided to stream there um going forward i'll still be doing streams on youtube um but kick is going to be like my main hub for streaming i would say and obviously youtube then will be for the great videos but let's see if we can get this up and down from deep of mixing the new flavor strawberry mango with uh blue raspberry today and quite a glorious mix actually strawberry mango is very like um Strawberry kiwi, though. There's just a bit of a different aftertaste, I would say. That was quite fast, but could work. Oh, my God. What a shot. What a shot from the bunker. Nine iron to about six or seven foot. I didn't see exactly what it said there, but what a shot. Incredibile. Tony Fino, who's he's only nine under. I guess he's the, the lowest guy that's actually in the game you know with a big sl slinger from left to right there for such a short shot that's a strange one honestly tony but not a terrible shot 21 foot let's see if they're different on the greens in general or if it's just they've changed a little bit to, for them to make short putts i'll be intrigued to see what the difference is really Oh, Tony makes it. Tony makes it on one. He gets to 10 on the par. He's still seven back, though, after we make this putt. After we make this putt, I'm so confident. Let's see if we can make it. Get a seven-shot lead over our playing partner. Yes, sir. Five-shot lead in total, I think. We're alive and cooking. We're not actually even out last because we're playing with Fino. I think uh, it goes by Fino score rather than our own. It shouldn't really because we're the leader and we're not out last. That's a little bit silly to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. That's just kind of the, the nature of the game. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to hit a three wood here because I'm worried this could run out otherwise. I hit a little bit of a high fadey three wood and just let it go on down there. All right, good shot. Yeah, see, driver would have gone through there, 
Smart play. Smart play. This is beautiful, man. All right, Tony. Let's see what you got. Big tone. I wonder if they fixed maybe them hitting like minus 20% drivers all the time. That would be a, a big bonus, but they didn't mention anything about that in the um, in the patch note, so I doubt it. But Tony was hitting a three wood there anyway, so we wouldn't have known really. It's usually only the driver that they do like big underswings with, like minus 20, minus. Pino's left himself a really good distance there though, 100, uh, 113 yards. Playing a big, uh, Tony likes to bloody work the ball, doesn't he? He's working it from right to left, from left to right, he doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I meant to say he matters. Tony matters. All right. What do we got? We got 85 yards. Gonna play this. Just let it kind of I don't think this is going to spin too much. God, I keep forgetting to switch my wedges. It's bothering me. Literally, I've I've re I've reminded myself in round at least seven times, man, and just end up every time forgetting to do it at the end of the round because I get distracted, obviously, by the rest of the round. I need to like write it down on my on my phone or something or yeah i'm gonna put it in my notes here and leave this note open change your wedges as tony made the putt by the way i was too busy writing down a stupid note uh but tony made the putt and he gets to 11 under hell of a start from tony but we can match his start here with a good putt here i'd love to match his start not quite that's a big turner okay big timmy turner there Par on one, one under through two. That's going to be more than okay. We're going to be well on the match to getting a victory here in the first FedEx Cup playoff, which would be absolutely mega because we want to be uh, starting as low as possible. Eastlake is already tough enough as it is. I don't want to be starting further back than I need to. Maybe we could even start in first if we win a few more of these FedEx Cup playoffs, you know? It's possible. Will we go into first, actually? Because it's 2,000 points. I think we might go into first if we win this in the FedEx Cup standings. That would be insane. That would be absolutely insane, mate. I'd love it. I would love it if we beat him. Love it. 245 left for him on the par five. He can definitely go for it. Wait. Oh, he hit a good one, did he? Okay, interesting. Tony hit a really good drive here. Maybe they are hitting. But to be fair, I think he could have probably hit a three wood that far. We'll see how, how far my driver goes here. I'm taking a little bit off this. Yeah, we're going to be bombed past Tony. He might have even hit three wood there. I didn't actually... I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was too busy uh, focusing on my own game. But that's a perfect drive there. 219 left for us. Is Tony going to go at this? Because usually they love laying up on these par fives. Now, this is a risky one. Yeah, I think he's laying up. And I don't blame him whatsoever here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Tony's going for it. Okay, just a little bit out to the left for him, unfortunately, but not bad, Tony. Shout out to our boy Santa Kagi as well for editing, editing these videos, guys. He's been absolutely phenomenal with them, and you know he's really up the ante of the content for these uh, for these videos. He's made them a lot better. So shout out to him, top top man. Let's see if we can get this close though with the five. Minutes. Even though he's been roasting me, you know that's so far. Go in. Oh my god, that's so far past. All right, I, I knew well, I should have came back to the six iron, but I was scared to with the water there. Obviously, it's better to be long than short here, but still not an easy shot from where we are. Let's, let's see if you can maybe... No way. That's for three straight birdies, though. Now, now that we've bumped the difficulty back up to uh, <laughs> the 88, I'm scared. I'm scared, man. Oh, sit. Great shot. Great shot. Just hit the fringe beautifully there. And we're actually going to be even closer than Tony is. That's uh, quite a simply lovely golf shot there. Thank you very much, guys. They'll have new um, new cosmetic stuff in the store later this week as well, they said. So I'm going to get some new outfits later this week in the store and um, look forward to trying those out. That looked a lot smoother. That looked a lot smoother. Like you just put it right in the middle of the cup there. That might make the AI kind of OP, though. We'll see. Sometimes you needed those short. What just happened? What what just happened? <laughs> Man, what just happened? You are one pathetic loser. That was a bug. Clearly a bug. What the fuck just happened, guys? I can we get a slow mo replay on that, Sanakagi? Like what the hell just happened? 
No. And I hope the camera's rolling, because you're going to want to watch it over and over and over and over again. Loser. I'd like to see a replay myself. That was utter bullshit. Fino is now five back. He's in. <laughs> Fino all of a sudden is tied for second. Can't even fathom that that didn't go in. Tony with a big slinger from right to left here. This is a difficult hole, though. I think he's playing it safe. Yeah, that's so safe, Tony. Come on, don't be a bitch. That's way too safe, Tony, when you're five shots back in contention at a tournament. Don't be smiling at that. That's weak sauce. I'll show you how it's done, all right? I'll show you how it's done. You go right at it like a real man. Go right at the pin here, okay? That is so bad. It's just fast, man. I'm hitting so many fast. It's not honestly that bad, but it's better than Tony's, that's for sure. See, a bad one is better than your good one there, Tony, you know? Honestly, if Tony had gone right at it there as well, it would have been perfect. Because <laughs> it's not like his really ran that much either. It kind of stopped pretty quickly. Alright, maybe he made the right decision. <laughs> oh, Tony's coming for me. Four straight birdies for Tony. Uh, revert the putting. Revert the fix. <laughs> revert the fix. Oh, just needed a little more break. Good effort. I'm actually playing quite solid as well. It just looks like I'm dog shit next to Tony Fino because he's made four straight birdies. I'm actually playing decently here. <laughs> All right. One under through four. Not terrible. And we had that robbery of a pot. We actually should be two under through four, really. But Fino gets within four now. But generally, they kind of drop off when they go on these crazy runs. Like, there's the rare occasion where they don't. When they're like, they, they usually have a mistake or two, though. Like, Scotty Scheffler, that, that was the rare occasion where it was like, oh my god, he just shot 59 at Augusta, you know? That kind of way. Good shot, Tony. Yeah, see, that was that was a good drive. Driver minus 2.1. Have they fixed that a little bit now, I think? It seems like they have. Like, Tony's not hitting, like, minus 20% minus drivers any, anymore, anyway. Let's see. Bang! Overswing, that's a little left. That was not a very good shot. Get away with it, potentially? Yes, it slowed it down enough, the first cut did. Okay, we were going to have trouble getting there if we were in the rough here, I think. On the par 4. This is a tough par 4, this one. 202 to the front. I think the 6 iron is the club here. 6 iron should be absolutely splendid here. So fast again, man. Going to hit that bloody tree, is it? Not quite, but that's not a very good shot. Hits that lady in the foot there. Look at the size of that lady. She's huge. She's about seven foot tall. He was towering over that fella next to her. But the same size as The Undertaker. Great shot by Tony. And now, now we can start to worry a little bit. <laughs> Tony Fino is on fire here. Tony, 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 please calm down, man. I'm just trying to have a good time here. I'm trying to win a FedEx Cup playoff. Don't do this to me, Tony. Oh, what a shot, though. Brilliant shot. Not quite enough power, but great shot. And should be good enough for an up and down and... And another par. The pars aren't going to cut it at the moment with the way Tony's playing. He's going to putt this, obviously, right? I feel like he's on the green, even. But I guess not. Might just be in between the fringe and the green. Oh, he's missed one. He's finally missed one. Thank God for that. Put me up above the tree. Good putt, though. Good up and down there. And five straight pars. Four straight pars, rather. Uh, to follow up the birdie on one. Let's see if we can, um, if we can start to get a few more birdies here going. That would be ideal. I much prefer, prefer playing with the AI playing partner. I might just play with the AI playing partner for the remainder of this um, for the remainder of this this season, honestly, because we only have one more tournament after this uh, before East Lake, you know. Tony, Tony, I might do what I did for this tournament as well, though, where I do play with the playing partner first round, two and three without, and then four with. I think that's a good way to balance it out. Tony. No, he did hit a minus ten percent driver there. Minus 10% driver, so that's not... I wonder if I turn the AI up. Like, say, if I went from AI up to 95 or 100. Like, does that cut that shit out? Or does that just... Is it always there, no matter what? Can someone someone who plays on 100 AI let me know? 
to low. Because obviously there has to be ways to make them worse. Like maybe that is one of the ways that they make them... That they limit their abilities a little bit, limit their skills. It's possible. Good shot there though, and we're obviously way closer than Tony. By about 30 yards or so. The big tone. All right. Not very good, I'd say. From that distance, Tony will be a little bit disappointed with that one. We have the Masters wedge in hand now. Reminding me I need to change my wedges. All right, we're going to play a big high fade here. This is going to be a, a shot for the ages. A little bit too far. That's eh, pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. We got a nice little bit of spin on it. A little bit of check with the Masters Club there. I have one wedge of... I don't know why it even did that either. Like, I, I did not change it. Did not change the look of my wedges like that. I, I simply did not. But I guess... I don't know what happened. It was when I was changing the specs and putting the specs on it. All right, Tesco man's here, boys. So uh, I got to go and get the groceries in. All right, I feel like it definitely breaks to the right here at the end, right? Like, not a crazy amount, but it definitely breaks to the right outside the cup. Mm, I gave it a little too much. Tony Fino, let's see how you hit these uh, little putts now. Yeah, hit him with more power, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, he bloody lipped it out, so he did. Oh my god, I'm guessing what they did was kind of made it so they just hit the shorter putts harder and straighter. You know, they don't try and um, put too much break on them. So they play it through the break a little bit. Maybe, that's what it looked like there anyway. Four shot lead continues. Imagine we didn't win this, that would be, whew, that'd be tough. It was a four shot lead when we started though, to be fair, so. We've maintained that gap, but it's Fina who's been gaining on us, so it feels like we've lost out a lot more. And Fina now pumps one down the left side with a three wood. Left himself a long one there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 213 left for Tony. US Open week, by the way, guys, which is absolutely awesome. Should be a damn good week here. Oh no, why does that go so far right on me? Wasn't even that bad of a shot. Fine though, it's, it's gonna be fine. First cut, good boy looks. First cut, we're fine. Come on, Tony lad. In 213, what can you do? You gonna push me all the way? It looks like he's kind of steadied up a little bit after the bir four birdies in a row to start. He's kind of coming backwards a little bit. He's just, well, not backwards. He's just uh, steadied the ship. He's making only pars now. Right, into a seven mile an hour wind. I'm thinking a finesse shot here with the uh, with the eight iron could be the play. Play about 166 here, maybe. Underswung it a little bit, but also hit it fast. Should even it out a little bit. Not bad. Not a bad shot at all. We'll take that. A little bit left of the pin. 11 foot. We'll take it, baby. Okay, well. All right, Tony, what you got? Oh, nearly from deep. The big tone. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. You didn't hit it, you donkey. Oh, I had the line perfectly. It was dead straight, honestly. But I just did not hit it. We could have taken a commanding five-shot lead there. But not to be. C'est la vie. Tony Fiel. Yeah, they're definitely in the mid with more pace, which is good to see. All right, we got the fan on. We're back. We're ready to go now. All I'm going to make is birdies now that I've got the, the beautiful air on me. That's six pirates in a row to follow up the birdie on one. We got a par three coming up next, though. Is it time for my first hole in one? It's time. First hole in one to give us a six shot lead here. Big tone, what you got for us? Show us the way. 170 yards downhill. I think a finesse shot here could be the way. Try and. Mm, that's a little left for you, Tony. He's just been kind of putting him a little too far away, a little out of birdie range, you would say. Or birdie range, but not a good chance, you know? Okay. So I think finesse is the play here. I'm gonna come back one club. I'm gonna hit a 169 finesse here. It's down the hill. This should, by rights, bound on forward a little bit. Again, just the big fast is killing me, man. Big fast there. It's not actually bad, though. Oh, it's a hell of a shot. <laughs> Much better than I thought it was going to be. I guess I would have been short if I didn't hit it fast. I would have been short right, maybe in that bunker even. Fino needs the birdie to keep up, keep up with us, really. Looks good. It looks good. Oh, it, it holds on somehow. Tony Fino gets a birdie. After three straight pars, he roars his approval for that one. We have to make this maintain our four-shot lead. So let's go ahead and just... 
Give it a little tap, tap, tap -a Yes, sir. Firm in the middle. That's our first birdie since the first hole. Big two on the scorecard right there as we remain four shots clear of Tony Finau. Tony Finau, let's go. Hey! That's dry. That's in the water. He just a driver. Oh, no. Okay, I'm thinking of a different hole. I was thinking of a different hole. I think it's actually on a different course, to be honest. <laughs> I was thinking of a hole where you kind of have to lay up a little because of the water. Right, we can hit driver here. There's no way this actually ends up reaching the end of the fairway today. If the wind's with you, I maybe have to be a little careful, but on a day like today, I don't think we have to take anything off that at all, really. And we've actually outdriven Tony Fino as well. Get wrecked, Tony boy. Get wrecked. You gonna put it close? You gonna put some pressure on me? And a little bit of a draw, it looks like. Although he didn't draw it at all. He played it out to the right. Did, didn't draw it in. Okay. 27 foot for birdie. That's kind of been his standard here since the first four holes. It's just been pretty poor. Ah. Could work. Could work. Could work. It's going to spin too much, I think. All right. Settle down, settle down, settle down. Okay. Easy up and down, come on. Yeah, really nice, really nice. Beautifully done here, beautifully done. Five foot for a birdie, or for a par rather. And six under on his round through nine. Would be a hell of a front nine here, Tony. Would be a hell of a front nine, Tony. Not quite, okay, good. We'll have a four-shot lead heading to the back nine, my friends, and crazier things have happened, but we should be able to hold on. You'd assume so, anyway. We had a similar lead at St. Andrews going down the back nine. Scotty Scheffler made it interesting, but we made a couple of really clutch putts. Plutz? Clutch putts, rather, to, uh, to seal the deal there. And Tony Fino, no, that one still looked a little off, but he made it. What? It says everyone is level par there on that leaderboard. What the fuck? You see that? What was that about? No, okay. It was just this crossover leaderboard. Um, Two under... Five under Fee now. Everyone... Aaron Badley's making a move. No one else is really making a move. Cameron Young's one over. Sam Burns level par. All right. No one's making a cra any crazy moves yet, except for Fee now. And we're playing well enough to hold them off at the moment. Two under for the round. That's a little left, though. That's in the trees, isn't it? Oh, we're going to carry him. We're going to carry him. That's perfect. Now, I couldn't place it any better. Well, I could probably could just place it in the fairway a couple of yards right, but it's absolutely perfect now. That's how we roll here. Ooh, Jesus. Dropped my controller. Okay. There you go. 14 foot 8 inches for Tony Finau. That's a good shot. Let's try to put it anywhere inside that, okay? I think this full pitching wedge will be the club here. And the reason I'm saying that is because uphill and into the wind. So I think this could be perfect. Especially if I hit it like that, baby. Go, go, go. Wow, really? That short? Ah, huh. that's not very good then. Let's see if we can chip it in, though. No reason we can't chip this in. This kind of just going to kick left immediate, immediately as it lands. And then oh, it kicked right. I just saw the top part of that slope and thought it immediately went left, but it's fine. It's going to be a it's going to be a par, but par might not be good enough to match Tony on this hole. Tony can get within two here. No, within three. Sorry, within three. Yeah, Tony does get within three. Fifteen under, and uh, he's going to push us on the back nine, no doubt. He is going to give us a shot. Going to give us a run for our money on the back nine. All right, par three to come. I've been playing the par threes well recently. Let's see if we can continue uh, continue that trend here with a birdie and maybe get back our four shot lead. We'll see. A little bit similar to the Island Green at Soccer. I just realized I'm playing without commentary this whole fucking time. I am stupid, boys. I was wondering, I was like, everything seems kind of silent. I realized I'm playing without commentary, that's why. I'm brain dead, my bad. And that'll be okay. My bad, guys, my bad, my bad. To the left. I was like, everything's pretty quiet, isn't it? I was like, fuck. <laughs> God damn it, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Because I, I think they've actually uh, improved commentary a lot. They've uh, they've made quite a few changes to commentary according to the patch notes. So we'll see what the differences are here. Not bad, I guess. Sit. All right. 
practice, even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. And he's done it again, has he? He's done it again. Tony Fino oh, gets within two. Perfect on right. Breaks right to left. More than that. Dang it! I thought it was more as well. Good effort, but that's... It does wander a few feet by and we'll see if we can make the uh Make the par putt. We clean up for par. The pirates aren't going to cut it right now, man. 20 under should do it. So we need to get to tr try and get to 20 under and see if uh, see if that's enough. Because Fino right now, 7 under, is it? I think he's 7 under. Through 11. Tony's popping off here. Playing a playing a little 3 wood here. A little fade 3 wood, I think. Ooh. I might be fading a little too much, is it? I think. Oh! He's dancing with it. Oh, Tony, you are living life on the edge, my friend. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to hit a power drive and just bomb it up there as far as I can. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. What a shot. I just got aggressive with it. That if I hit a power drive, like an aim way left, even if this goes right on me, it's going to end up being perfect. If it goes left, I'll be in the rough, but it won't be too bad, you know? Well, there you go. That's absolutely perfect. Tony Finau needs to keep making birdies if he wants a chance. We're going to have a chance to get a closer birdie here, no doubt. Finau's going to have to try and match us. And that is not looking too hot. That's a little right. That's a little bit far away, Tony. 37 foot. All right, time for a little spinner here. We're going to land this on the upslope at the front of the green and just stop it dead. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. That works. Not exactly where I wanted to land it, honestly, but it does run on. Good chance for birdie. It's for birdie. Good chance for birdie for your boy. Okay. That's weak. I'm just going to play it outside left. I hope that this isn't an inside left putt. It's not. It's perfect. Come on, let's go. Okay, Big birdie. And it's that gets us back to a three-shot lead here. Back to a three-shot three lead, shot and we are lead. looking good to win this, this thing now. Play. Our fourth win of the season, this would be. And what a season it would be. With two tournaments remaining, no less. That one safely in. Get in there, baby. Three-shot lead. Zalatoris gets the 15 under as well. He's not completely out of this thing yet. But uh, it's not looking too great for him. We're four shots clear with uh, seven to play, is it? And have control of it the whole way. You're going to make a good score here at TPC Southland. Just overdrew it a little bit, but should be fine. First cut, we're fine. Absolutely fine. 173 might have an awkward stance, but I think we should be okay. I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. Paparazzi. Fina, my man. It's another okay shot. His iron and wedge shots have just been okay. You know, they've been all hitting the green, but none of them are getting really that close. He needs them to be close. That's so far right, man. That was just a big mistake at a critical moment in the tournament. Just an absolutely horrible golf swing. Right, I'm going to blast this. I'm going to land it right at the front, and I'm going to hit it in. Just like that. Just a little bit right, but it was a good, it was, uh, the idea was correct. Last thing we want to do right now is make a bogey, especially if Tony makes this. Then it'll be a one shot lead, it'll be a two shot swing. But I don't think Tony's going to make this. This is a long one, it's a difficult one, it's up the hill. That's looking like it's left. So yeah, he didn't give it enough. It was a tough one to give it enough, I think. So if we make this, we'll keep our three shot lead intact. Not too much in this. Yes, come on. Big putt. Big up and down there. That was not an easy up and down from that bunker, and we got it done really nicely, actually. Par three to come. Five holes left. We've got this. We've got this in the palm of our hands now. It would need to be a mega choke from us here to not win this tournament now. We've had to just manage our way around in round four here as Fino taps in for his par. All right, I'm going to finesse a four iron. I know that might seem crazy. I'm going to finesse a four iron. Oh, I needed it to fade, and it did the opposite. See, if it faded, it would have been going right at the hole there. 
All right, into the bunker we go. This is a tough par three, though. Really tough par three. And we're going to need another up and down out of the bunker after just getting a really nice one on the last hole. We'll need to do the same thing here again. It might be a tense finish here, boys. It's not easy to win a golf tournament, let me tell you. Fee now hits a, a good fade. I think that's going to be similar to mine, though. His isn't going to go in the bunker, though. Okay. He's going to be a long way away still, though. 30 foot or so. Okay. 42 foot. Oh, Safety God. Aboard. He's this actually further away than I am. <laughs> How's that even possible, dude? Right on this putt. All right, Gina, come on. Take your time there, Tony. I know, like, I've been here for about 10, 10 minutes already. You know, take your bloody time there, lad. Take the points! There you go. Jesus, Lord Almighty. What in the hell took you so long, sir? I know it was a difficult putt to read. You better hold it after all that. Oh, he nearly did. He nearly did. Fair play to you, Tony. Fair play to you. All right, let's see. A uh, little pick shot. A little splash out on this par three. Good shot. Good shot. Come on. It should be just a clean up par here, and we'll move on to the next one with three shot lead intact, baby. Two good up and downs from the bunker with the pick shot and the blast shot. By the way, can do it. We can do it anyway. I told you 20 under is going to be the winning score, and 20 under should be more than enough to seal the deal now, I think. I think we, even if we power our way home, we'll probably win. So, short putts aren't completely fixed. They didn't, they didn't leave them short, at least. Which is better. Oh no, what the fuck's happening? Safely in. Okay, well, uh, I, need a, I need to show that one to EA. Four shot lead again, and that's pretty much right, curtains for the tournament. Like, he actually the hit the putt with power and limped it out. Crucial here with first one. Shot over a creek which is not what they usually do, but still, green. I mean, that's clearly not, not acceptable either, what just happened there. All right, good drive. I think that should be absolutely split. Oh, it's way too far. I was thinking I might hit three wood, and it would have been a smarter play on it. It's not going to be too bad from there anyway. It's going to be fine. Good shot, Tony. Three wood. That's what I should have done. Leave yourself yeah, a nice full a wedge in there. there. Good balance. Good you know, that's what I should have done, Tony. To You're a smart guy. Fairway Can't beat me now. This four holes four holes left, four shot lead. Unless we absolutely capitulate, I think right the first FedEx screen. Cup playoff is ours. In a big, big way, my friends. In a big, big way. And you know me. I never capitulate, yeah, right? Just 98 to the back. Rough. I think it was about a 94. That is so far short. It's insane. <sighs> yep. Meant to do that. Get in. Oh, good effort. All right. You need a whole list to have any shot. I mean, literally, this needs to be in the bottom of the cup, and that's that. Oh, no. I think that is curtains, Tony. You fought valiantly, my friend, but that is going to be that, and that is the way the road, son. It's the way of the road, baby. We've really just played solid golf. We haven't done anything too crazy. We've made birdie, birdie, birdie. Three birdies in total, and the rest have been pars. Three birdies and uh, and twelve pars so far. So there you go. Three Another left. one. Again, Tony's missed. Wow. I mean, that putt I could see a pro missing that once in a while with a little lip out like that, but the other one was a little bit more unacceptable. I feel like like those putts aren't aren't gimmies in real life either for pros. You know, they okay, do miss them. The 15, but the one on 14, I think, was actually worse. Tony's fell apart. Zalatoris is still 15 on there. He's, he's, if he goes on a birdie streak, maybe, but AI yeah, don't really tend to do that in this game, I feel like. Yard, dude. AI that you're not playing with, at least. All right, this is here, such a gettable par five Eagle today. This is literally playing like a, a par, par four. This is literally playing like a not even that long of a par four either. But I've unfortunately gone into the rough. 176, so you know what I mean? Like, that's 176. Now, I might have to be careful of the tree above me. I might have to play a little punch shot or something uh, Something there. We'll see. We might have to get creative with it, because I think the overhanging tree there could be a problem for us. Only setting three wood. The AI is back in business, boys. Missing the fairway with a three wood. <laughs> On a pair of five. Oh, Lord, Tony. 
What's up, Tone? What's up, Big Tony? Yeah, he went for it, but that's a little left on you. Into the bunker he goes. Impressive. It kind of took, to uh, took a little bit out of this there, Tony, ruining it a bit. No, I don't think we have to worry about the overhanging tree at all, actually. Bunker, but that is very but yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a shame, really, that Tony had to fall apart so viciously. That is so far past. The overswing 2.2% just killed me there, man. Absolutely killed me. I think we'll actually be a little bit further away than Tony, you know? In the ballpark and, well, let's see how good you can chip. What a pitch. Good shot. Should be a birdie. 20 under. I said the winning score would be 20 under. And I think we're about to hit that mark right now. The fat lady singing. The tournament's over. Finau. Put up a fight for a while. But he's done now. He's done now. Tony put a pin in him. He's done. He made it interesting for a little while there. But it's not to be. C'est la vie. This is the way of the road, my friend. This is how it... Uh... Oh, Tony. No. Par. Yeah, you suck now. Tony went from being amazing on the front nine to absolutely sucking dick for money on the back nine, man. Should make this about 80% of the time. It's for birdie. 80% of the time? I make it every time. Bang. Two holes left. 20 under. Let's go. Solid round to finish and solid round to win the tournament. No bogeys. Clean scorecard here at Southwind. Was always going to get the job done for us when we came in with the four-shot lead. Uh, it's looking like we're going to win okay, the tournament by about five or six shots 16. in the end. And uh, I think overall I am debating turning the AI difficulty up a little bit more. Like up to 90, 92 range. Um, I think I've, I've heard from a few people that that actually, it, it is a good balance. They still make a lot of birdies, but they do make mistakes like, like Tony has done in this round as well. Um, so we'll see. At right, 350 to the end, I'm genuinely thinking three wood is, is the play here with the wind behind us. Uh, three wood ain't going to get 350, but should get all the way down to the end of the fairway nearly at least yeah perfect shot genius golf shot from your boy beautiful three wood a three wood about 350 yards long and that's absolutely perfect no tony don't do this minus 20. minus 10. that's good right in the fairway tony i feel for you man Just, uh, he just doesn't have that dog in him, you know? But let me know who you think is winning the U.S. Open this week as well, guys. Super curious to, to so hear all your guys' picks. I know a lot of people are picking Max Homa because it's like a, his home course, I think. Or at least his home location. He's comfortable in this location. Um, DJ was my pick, I think. I just I don't know. I had a feeling about him. All right, I'm going to finesse this. Definitely too much with the 8-iron finesse, clearly. I think the 9-iron finesse is the one. Bring a little bit off it. 148. Put this close. Then this to bed. That is long. That is long. Not a great shot there. Thirty-eight foot for birdie. Shot. I think the idea here is just to get it inside, sort of a three-foot circle. I'm with you there, buddy. Three-foot circle sounds good to me. Uh -huh. How about in? Oh, yes! What a putt! What a putt! That might be one of my best putts on the career mode in a minute, at least on Sim. That's up there. What a putt that was, man. What a read. Beautifully done. Unbelievable putt. And that's going to get us the dub, man. That's going to get us a big W. He's going to hopefully tidy up for his par. I'd like to see you get second still, Tony. Not likely now at this point. I'd say Zalatoris is going to get it. But yeah, timid back nine. He's level par on the back nine after birdieing 10 and 11. So disappointing for him. We're six shots clear of Zalatoris, who hasn't really made uh, a move at all. So it's been a little too easy here. I think the four round events, the AI is uh, is a little too easy, you know. But then when it goes to the, uh, the quick sim rounds, that's when I'm like, yeah, the AI is crazy. It's too high, you know. So it's, you kind of got to find, find a good balance there. Beautiful drive with the three wood. Beautiful little three wood there. Absolutely living life on the edge, but we've played it. We've played a blinder. Uh, I've hit driver one too many times into the into the bunker here. So three wood, perfect. 143 yards left, and we'll be able to walk up to that uh, that green with a six shot lead and victory in tow. So a beautiful win here at FedEx St. Jude. We've really just played clinical stuff. We haven't made many mistakes at all here. We've been really solid throughout the week. 
And uh, I'm yes, really happy with it. Another win. Four way. wins for the it season. The AI difficulty has to go up, of course, because um, I want it to be really challenging. I don't want wins to be this easy like they were for this. And, and uh, even the Open Championships at times, like From even though Scotty came back into that and made it made it tough. Well, he's looking at 138 yards um, to the front. Let's see if Tony can finish to with a birdie. No, Tony, you've just been weak. You've just been weak on the back nine, man. You haven't hit any good shots at all, really. Oh, you know? Let's, let's hit a gap wedge. Left here. Put it close. Sign off with a closing birdie here and uh, and move on to the next tournament. How about this it? This could be a good one. Oh, it could be great. Oh. <laughs> That's how you seal the deal on the FedEx St. Jude. That's for three straight birdies. We had four straight birdies on moving day to get to 16 under. We're going to finish with three straight birdies today to win the tournament convincingly. Nobody even came close in the end. It's going to be a seven-shot victory here at the FedEx St. Jude. And that means clearly that it's a, it's a little bit too easy here. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. One foot for Fee now. That's going to be that for us, boys. That is going to be that. Beautifully done. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Very, very nicely done indeed. He now makes it okay, simply in for, his for par 18. 14 under. He's going to finish somehow eight back of the lead in the end, and it's a it's a it's a it's a six shot lead, so six shot win. Will Zalator shoot 65 five under? A lot of people shot five under there, um, but our six under was more than enough to get the job done. Seeing as we came in with a four shot lead in the first place, so there you go. That was um, that was mega. Let's go! Another trophy in the bag, my friends. Another trophy in the bag. The FedEx St. Jude Championship is ours, and our fourth win of the season. We've got to be up there for Player of the Year now. And we've got to maybe take the lead in the FedEx Cup standings. You finished the FedEx St. Jude ranked inside the top 70 and have qualified for the BMW Champ. Yeah, I know that. We're up to first in the FedEx Cup ranking. So if we win the next one, we'll be well on our way. So I want to put this up to 90. I'm going to throw in 93, okay? And I'm going to put AI final round only. And because we already know that we're going to be playing alongside someone here. Oh, no. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do then first two rounds without a playing partner. And then... Uh, the weekend will do with a playing partner. Like, we'll see. Wilmington's a tough course. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, this should be super interesting to see if we can continue the hot form into the next one. Our fourth win of the season. And um, look at the look at all the top 10 sprayed throughout the season as well. It's been uh, it's been pretty magical. It's been it's been phenomenal. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll be back for uh, the BMW Championship in the next one, and I'll see you guys then. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Make sure to keep uh, keep dropping likes, keep showing support on the series, and we'll keep it coming for you guys. If you want to see a season two, of course, drop a like. Let me know in the comments. See you next time. Peace out. Break.